Hello everyone, this is Mumbo. Welcome back to another episode on the Hermit's Craft server. It's episode 151, and today we are starting things off in my base area, but we're not actually going to be spending any time in my base today. We're not going to be doing any work on the island, we're not going to be doing any stuff over in TNT land, we're actually going to be traveling off to the gaming district, because I have come up with a really cool idea for a game that I want to make on the Hermit Craft server that I feel like I feel like we've been missing a little bit this season. You see, towards the end of Hermitcraft Season 4, fireworks were added to the game, or at least fireworks weren't added, they were already there, but the ability to shoot yourself with the fireworks and propel yourself off into the distance, that was added into the game. And I created the death games, that was a lot of fun, but also Cubfan created a race course through all of the Mesa biome and everything like that, and that was wicked. That was seriously, seriously cool. So I thought, we would build one for Hermitcraft Season 5. But I think before I do anything, I should take a look in these chests right here and see if anyone else has played my little arcade games. No. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, well, that's a disappointment. Hermits, you, you know what to do. Anyway, let's try and find a spot for this thing. And you know what? Even more has popped up. Am I going crazy here? Oh, wow. So we've got a Duck Hunt mini game. And is this Hardcore Hermits? I feel like this is the Hardcore Hermits area. Now because this game is actually going to be quite big, I'm not going to be building it actually on the island. I feel like that would be a little bit unfair because of course there's going to be, well there's going to be things all over the place and I, I want to make sure that I'm not clattering up the area. But this spot in the ocean definitely looks pretty good. So what I can do is I can actually construct, I mean if we, so there's a pathway there, we could build up some form of starting platform, because we want to start quite high up. We could build up a starting platform around about here, and then you'd launch off, and one thing that I definitely do want to do is I want to have some underground sections. You pop through, through the water, down underground, and then kind of pop back out again. Hmm, okay, uh, I'm going to start trying to come up with how I'm going to do this. So, first things first, pathway has been expanded, so now we have a space in which we can build the entrance to this thing. Now, I think in terms of entrance design, what I'm literally going to do is just place in a handful of blocks for the time being, because this is where we're going to be launching from, and then we'll build up the entire course, and then we'll start worrying about what the entrance is actually going to look like. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to build up the entire course, and then start worrying about what the course is going to look like. I, I've just been stressing out pretty much standing on that platform for the past maybe five or so minutes just staring into space trying to think of what blocks I'm going to use for this thing. What I think I'll do is I'll actually place in all of the blocks, see how well it works, and then we'll worry about all the details. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, and that is going to be that. So three, four, five, six, I think that should do the opening. As you can see, this thing is absolutely beautiful at this point in time, but I'm just trying to get a rough idea of what's going on. So what we've got is we have got four of our rings in place. I'm excited to try this. Okay, so here's what we do. We take off, we fly up like this, then we'd have to fly down <laughs> and try and, make our, try and make our way into that one there. Wow, that's going to be, that is gonna be a challenge. Hang on, let me try again. So we come in pretty hot, we come up like that, Wow, okay. <laughs> Already I've made this devilishly hard. All right. Maybe I should, okay, here, here's the deal. I'm actually going to clear out all of the blocks down underneath here and we'll see if we can actually pull this off because I don't want to build this thing and then find out that actually it is impossible. Things are going pretty well so far. I've got one entrance done on that side. I've also got the second entrance over here. Well, this is the exit, I suppose. The entrance is over there and then we fly through and this is the exit. And now what I'm doing is I'm just mining along and hoping that these two things will meet up nicely so then we have one tube going through. Now, I have to say, I don't know if this is going to be a little bit too tight. We're going to remove that lava because we don't want anyone to go into that. But yeah, we don't want to make it too difficult, but we want it to be difficult. Right, that is now all done. And I think the chances of me dying on the first time of testing this is probably decently low or high, I mean. Okay. Okay, that's harder than I was expecting. Uh, what can we do there? I say we actually take some off the top. Let's see if we can do that again. So we go up, we go down, and then we spin around. 
Ooh, I'm ducking in my computer chair! Oh my word. Okay. Yeah, we need to take the roof off. We need to make it so that there isn't really a roof. Because that's making it incredibly challenging. Things have been improved, and now it should be easier. So let's take a look. If we fly up like this, go down. And then we need to really be smart. Yes! Oh, that was wicked! That was amazing! Okay, so that, that works. That works really, really nicely. Let's try that again. I want to see if I can do that again. I keep ducking in my computer chair. Oh! <laughs> Wow! Alright, that is a real thrill. Okay, um, alright, I'd say the next, the next one should be around about this height over there. And then, uh, I don't know, where do we go from there? So we have this one. I really don't know where to go next. I was considering using that island a little bit, but I don't think I will. I think I want to keep it quite tight in this area here. So what I might do is make a sharp bend, drop us back down near the ocean, have like a tube that you have to fly through, and then maybe... Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe a really fast up, like a straight up. It's difficult. Okay, progress has been made once again, so we should try and do the course once more. So here we go. I'm getting worse at getting down into this chamber area. Oh, it's so difficult. It's so difficult. <laughs> okay, let's try again. This time I'm going to have a running start. So we go, and we go up. And then we come down like this. We go through here. Okay, that's not how to do it. That's not how to do it. Wow, this is hard. All right, this is feeling good. Come on. <laughs> I crashed into it. But okay, so we did the course. It's okay. It, it's going really well so far. I actually think we should loop back on ourselves now. And then, hmm, to loop back on ourselves, so maybe have one off over here, and then, I don't know, take it off down here maybe? Things are going really well, so we've got that loop there, then we're going to loop into another tube, but this one's going to be vertical, that's going to take us down underwater, and then we're going to have an underwater section where we actually have to fly through a chamber in this little hillside here, and then we'll pop out onto the surface, so we'll have another one there, and then that can be the finish line over there. So there we have it. That is the full course, all done and dusted. Now let's see if I can actually complete this thing, and I actually don't have that many firework rockets, so we're gonna have to be smart about this. But boy, oh boy, is it really difficult to do! <laughs> Wow, okay, so I'm actually gonna have to loop out because I fired that rocket then. So we come back through here, we come back through here, and wow, we are traveling real slow, but then we drop down into the ocean, we go across like this, up like that, and onto this thing. <laughs> okay, there are gonna be hermits killed by this. Now, in terms of the decoration for this thing, what we're going to do is kind of mimic what we have going on in the actual district itself. So we're going to have concrete, because of course we can't place concrete powder in water. We're going to have concrete, and then we're going to have light blue wool as well. And that's going to be making up a course that goes underneath the hoop. So you're going to see where it goes in the ocean. So something a little bit like this. Now, I'm just making my way to the end. Okay, so a little bit more. Uh, maybe two bits of wool, that one, and you know what? This is going to use a lot of resources if we if we do it all like this. But there we go, almost. We're almost done. Just a handful more concrete blocks, and that will do the trick. Okay, so this is what the entire place is going to be looking like, and underneath all of our little areas here, right the way up to this space, we have got the light blue wool and the light blue concrete. So that shows us where we're racing. It's not quite as bright and vibrant as maybe as I, as I was expecting. Because look, there is light blue. But the light blue concrete seems to be less bright than light blue concrete powder. by quite a long way, too. I mean, look at that. That's a massive difference. 
How, how, what could we do? I've come up with an idea, but it's a very long-winded one. And that is to break all of these blocks and then place dirt underneath the entire passageway and then place in the concrete powder, which means that if we were to build this, this entire track, we're gonna have to do a lot of that. We're gonna have to place in all the blocks to clear out all the water, then place the dirt underneath, and then place in the concrete. Wow, okay. Uh, it does look cool. Yeah, that, that does look a lot cooler. Much, much cooler. In infinitely cooler than it did beforehand. That was so bland before. I was completely shocked by it. Anyway, that looks... Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's the way that we're gonna have to do it. Right, I guess we should get to work and cover up this entire space, which actually isn't really that massive. And you know what? I think it's time to do it in the form of a third-person time-lapse. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Now, in today's time-lapse chat, I'm going to do the very mumbo-y thing of talking about my VW camper van. I, I know, I know you guys have heard a lot about this, and for anyone who follows me on Twitter, on Instagram as well, you will have been seeing a lot of pictures of it over the past couple days, but that is because Really cool things are happening to it. So essentially, so I've, I've done like the full service. We serviced it, we changed all the spark plugs, we changed the oil, that's all done and it's all running incredibly smoothly. In fact, I, I'm those spark plugs look like they had been in there for a long time and it had like the occasional misfire. So now that that's fixed, it's actually driving incredibly smoothly. And despite what everyone on Twitter keeps saying whenever I post pictures of the van saying it's horribly unreliable, so far, touch wood, I haven't had any issues with it for about the past eight months and I've done about 10 maybe 11,000 miles in it so really smooth going in the engine department but the interior the interior for me has never really done it I mean the outside of the van is blue the inside of the van is also blue everywhere the seat covers are blue, the door covers are blue, the floors are blue, everything seems to be blue and that's not something I ever really liked so me and Vicky have been in the process of kind of swapping it over to a slightly more rustic, shabby, kind of beach hut style interior, which is crazy because you'd never normally say that about a car, but these old VW buses, they really do, they, they, I mean, you can get away with so much. We've got wood paneling, we've got everything. So we picked up a bunch of recycled pallet wood. Um, we're using uh, recycled coffee bags for the door cards. We're using like a, an old rug for the central section, which we actually need to find at this point in time. And the actual seat covers themselves, we spent ages looking for fabrics. And in the end, I was kind of very close to ordering this really expensive fabric. I think it cost like 50 pounds per square yard, and it would have cost a fortune to do the entire van. And I was looking at it, and I was like, I've seen this before. Turns out it was very similar to what's known as dust sheet canvas, which is what painters and decorators use to protect floors. Um, it was very, very similar, and I got a 12 foot by 12 foot area of dust sheet for 12 pounds. <laughs> so I saved a ton of money there, and we've actually upholstered the seats in it, and it looks, it looks amazing. So I'm so excited to get this finished. As I say, I will be posting pictures on Twitter, on Instagram, and everything like that, so you can see how it's all coming together. It's one of those things that sounds bad when I'm talking about it, but it's looking awesome so far. So really, really chuffed to bits with it. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on about that. Let's pop back onto the Hermit server. So that just about wraps everything up for that build right there in terms of the actual stone slabs and the planning. But the reason I've stopped the time lapse is because A, I'm completely fresh out of concrete powder, so we're gonna have to do a massive, massive gathering session of that. B, I've decided that I want the part where it overlaps to be changed into orange. So we're going to have orange concrete powder and orange wool off in that section. And then also, I've come up with a new idea for where I want the finish to be because originally it was over by you know, near the, the docks and everything, and it was a little bit tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it back around again, so you're going to go back on yourself, you're going to travel into the gap that's in the middle of the entire thing, you're gonna pop out of the water, and then you're going to be on the finish. So I think, I think that should be a fully functioning plan. Now where did I put it? Where did I put those red flowers? I swear I planted them somewhere in TNT Island. That red flower that I can just hold down and bone meal. I think it was here. And now my Alitra have broken, which reminds me of what life used to be like before we could fly in Minecraft. Can you, can you remember having to swim? Actually having to use, use the ocean 
to travel across. I mean, obviously there were boats, but this is just so long-winded. I found a plant, but it wasn't the one that I placed in a recent Hermitcraft episode. That was a long-winded trip just to get a little bit of red dye. Anyway, despite that, that's all of the orange gathered. So we've got all of that. And then also I need to get a little bit more blue so that we can do the remaining blue sections because there's just a few blue missing. But I'm now going to have to head off and gather up even more orange dye because I've just remembered that I actually need to get orange wool and that doesn't work the same as concrete. You need a lot more dye for that. Finally, I'm now all prepared to actually get this thing all covered up. So we're going to get all of these walkways done nice and quickly. Blue wool first up to this point and that should be everything and then blue concrete in this area as well and then we're done for the blue of course then we have to do all of the orange which comes out from there wraps around the back and goes off in this direction right so let's take a look at how this thing looks once we've got all of the orange in place so we've done all of the blue and this is just the first section of orange and i just want to make sure that it actually looks cool next to this area here i imagine it probably does but we're about to find out that was very bizarre okay let's go and yep that looks really cool okay awesome so this is where it's actually going to be wrapping around and then this is going to be our finish and that's all going to be orange but yeah that looks great cool 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 okay i'm going to keep going and just wrap it around like this and then we can finish up there now instead of having rings on this area here because that would be an extremely tight turn what i thought i'd do instead is kind of have a wall so you basically have to avoid hitting this wall so you pop up as you can see i've now so we've got the top so that's the top section and then you have this bottom section so you go through underneath the water come up like this and then you need to make a sharp turn around there and then there'll be another ring off over here and then that's where the finish is going to be i hope i hope that sounds good and then i think this little bit of orange is just going to wrap around like this and then carry on over here and then we'll have a nice straight away there and then yeah the finish will go there so it should end up looking a little bit nicer from above because right now this space is very empty right that should now all be done as well so we have got we have got the new area all mapped out so there is the wall the back wall around about there and then there we have our loop back around and then this is where the finish is going to be so if we take a look at it from above it should now look like a slightly more balanced yeah it looks like a more balanced race course okay that's brilliant news absolutely excellent news so that's all been filled with dirt that's fantastic so now yeah all we have to do is run through place in the wool then we need to place in the dirt take out the dirt and then place in our concrete parts one and two have been completed or parts one two and three so we've placed in the wool now we've placed in the dirt and now i've removed all of the dirt and that is now all done. So now it's just a very simple process of placing in the concrete and that will have our course drawn out on the floor. And that just about does it for the ground decoration. So what I'm going to do is, well, first off, I'm going to do the standard, fly up into the sky and see what it looks like from above. Answer is it looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to get myself some firework rockets from my ender chest and I'm going to see if I can actually take on this thing. Now, I must admit, now that it's actually fully finished, I'm kind of a little bit nervous for it because this is this is a really, really tricky thing to do. And I'm kind of scared for also the hermits taking it on, but I think it's going to be interesting. And also, because I haven't played it for a little while, I've kind of forgotten where the course goes, which means that this is going to be a pretty good inkling as to whether or not the course is actually easy to follow. All right, you ready? Three, two, one and go so flying off like that down like this and then we need to do the old rotate and try our best to do something like that that was actually surprisingly good and then up and down and around okay and then we go straight down <laughs> you know what That was actually a very good run. That was a really good run. I mean, we had one or two little crashes, but that was that was surprisingly very good. The only time that I would say it's not quite so obvious is when you go down through the bottom there. So we might have to add in some arrows or something like that 
in the near future. One thing that I had totally forgotten about as the night drew in is actually lighting up this place, but that has now been done as well. So this is what the ground area of our course is going to look like. I will do some extra decoration in the water in and around this place. And obviously these little flight course areas that you have to fly through, what do you get? Rings. These flight course rings are definitely going to get decorated as well and I'll be doing that in the next episode of Hermitcraft but unfortunately ladies and gentlemen for the time being I've actually run out of time. If you have enjoyed this please drop to that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe but thanks for watching guys. This is Mumbo and I'm out. I'll see you later.